Hi, welcome to Lori Makes It Great. Tonight I'm going to make a basic chili recipe that I make for my family all of the time that is affordable and delicious and we love it and I'm sure you will too. I'm cooking down a pound of ground turkey in my pan here with about a tablespoon of olive oil. It's just about done. You're going to want to drain off the extra fat that's cooked off of the turkey. Chili is such a fast, easy recipe. I make it for my family so often when I don't know what to make. It's something that's healthy, it's something that's affordable, and I love chili. I always have. So, you're definitely going to want to put this in your recipe file. Okay, so I have my pound of ground turkey, and my beagle Ruby here is wanting her dinner. So I'm going to give her, her one little scoop. I'm going to add an extra for her. I'll let that cool down for you, Ruby. Okay. I'm going to add in my garlic. I have two cloves of garlic that I've already minced. Every bit of that. Okay, and you're just going to give this a minute to get these flavors going in here, and I'm going to start adding in my spices while that garlic goes to work. I'm going to put in my salt, first of all, I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt, and I like using the kosher salt, it's a coarser salt that gives so much flavor, half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to put in my pepper, which is one eighth teaspoon of pepper. And of course, grind on your pepper. I'm also going to add in some cumin. And the cumin is going to be half a teaspoon. This adds a nice smokiness to this chili that I really like. Couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. This is such a wonderful sauce. If you haven't tried Worcestershire sauce before, it's also used in my Mexican chicken soup, which is a delicious additive to just give it an extra bold flavor. I'm going to skip the Tabasco because my 16 month old does not like Tabasco in his chili, but you can add in half a teaspoon of Tabasco for some spiciness. I also add in three tablespoons of chili powder. Give that a stir. And we're going to add in our tomato sauce. Two cans of 15 ounce tomato sauce. Honestly, any brand tomato sauce you like will work. Some have a slightly different taste. They're a little sweeter than others, I've noticed, but pretty much they're all the same, and whatever is the like, best price is fine. I'm adding in two cans of the kidney beans as well. And I've already drained these kidney beans off. Get that water out of there. Make 
sure we have everything here, and I think that's about it. So this is just going to cook down for about 15 minutes. This is a quick, easy dinner that you can serve for your family. It's affordable. It's delicious. You can also change it up and put it on french fries. You can put it on baked potatoes and put cheese all over it. Um, I'm going to make some cornbread when I come back. We'll serve it with a little side of cornbread tonight. Get this lid on here. Get this boiled down good. Ruby's going to enjoy her dinner. Ruby is two years old and she is a beautiful beagle. She is mischievous though. Most of the time she likes to have chicken and rice for her dinner tonight. She also likes ground turkey with her rice and then she has her dry food. Okay, now I'm going to make some cornbread to go along with the chili. And the cornbread that I've made for years is the cornmeal that's straight off of the Albers yellow cornmeal box. I love it. This is the perfect recipe. But you have to make the sweet corn muffins. The regular bread is not sweet enough for me. So you start off with one, and I just make it in one bowl. I don't make it complicated. Um, very simple, easy, quick formula. I love it. Okay, one and a half cups of flour. I'm so happy that my kids love eating cornbread because I love cornbread and I remember eating it when I was a kid uh, back when my grandma used to make cornbread for me. And my grandma was from Louisiana, and she loved cornbread since she's from the South. And I guess that's what passed that on to me. Um, Two-thirds cup of granulated sugar. And it's so easy to make it homemade. You really don't need to use a box mix. It's so much more delicious when you're making it yourself. And I don't know if it's cheaper, but it is delicious, and it's not that expensive. And it's a nice little... Add it to your meal. When I tell the kids I'm making cornbread with the chili, they're excited about eating it. Okay, there is sugar. We also need half a cup of the cornmeal. This is definitely a sweeter cornbread since there's only half a cup of the cornmeal. I'm going to put one tablespoon of baking powder. Sorry. As well as half a teaspoon of salt. Now I use butter so a lot of the times I'll just cut the salt in half to make it not overly salted. So a quarter teaspoon of salt for me and I'll give that a quick mix before I start adding the liquids in. And I'm going to need the two large eggs. I did not grab out of the refrigerator yet. I 
add in my melted butter. You're adding in um, see, three tablespoons of melted butter. That's what really gives this cornbread some nice flavor. You're going to add in one and a quarter cups of milk. Ruby, you've come back. sugar, cornmeal, baking powder, salt, milk, eggs, oil. We need one third cup of oil. So I'm going to use the avocado oil. I get this oil at Costco, as I talked about in a previous video. This oil adds the most amazing moisture to this cornbread. Before I did the oil, I used sometimes just vegetable oil or I would use just all butter. I love this oil in this recipe. Okay, one third cup. And that's it. So I'm just going to give this a good stir. Make sure everything is evenly incorporated. It's a one, one bowl of cornbread. Make sure you add all the dry first and then you start adding in the wet. I tell you, I keep thinking I wish they would just I would take that recipe off of that box because they're going to stop printing that recipe on that box, but I'm telling you that recipe has been on that box for at least maybe 17 years that I've noticed, so it has not gone anywhere. I should probably do that because I'd be devastated if it was gone. Okay, stir that real good. And I have my preheated pan in the oven. Now this is a stoneware dish that I got from Hampered Chef a long time ago and it does make a good cornbread. And I need to butter this up. I'm just going to put another tablespoon of butter in it. You could just oil it if you wanted. Make it less calories, but why not? Put some butter in there. And melt that down for a minute. And I'm going to pour in my batter. Is it yummy, Nikki? Do you love it? Is it yummy? Hmm? Do you like it? Is it yummy? Do you like it? Is it yummy, Bradley? Yeah? Yeah. Delicious? Nick, do you like it? Nikki? <laughs> Nick, is it good? Do you like it, Nick? Say yes. Bay, no chili for you, Ruby. No chili. Mm -hmm. 